focused on um, supporting teachers uh, and supporting teachers to do what they do well. You know, um, give them, giving them more time to teach, uh, to teach effectively, to teach specifically what the students need. The, the reality is most, most teachers know what they should be doing and know how to be good at, at, at instruction, but they're, they're curtailed by the, the volume of time it takes to mark things, the administrative tasks. Are. So, so some of the, the projects are, are in some of the companies I'm working with are trying to reduce down that administrative workload, if you like, to free them up so they can teach, you know, which is what they're really there for. And so the, the technology um, and the data that we're seeing is being used to make teachers more efficient, um, helping them understand how they can get insights out of you know, things that they may not have realised were, were um, uh, impacting their, their, their students in the classes. Uh, on the other side, in the, in the corporate space, looking at, at what is um, how is efficacy measured? You know, how do we make sure that the money we're spending on our corporate training programs and learning programs is actually um, effective? So, so anal taking the, the data in the back end and looking at, uh, well actually before we take the data, uh, setting bars, okay, what are we targeting here? Are we targeting you know, an increase in knowledge? Are we targeting longevity? Are we targeting uh, motivation? Whatever it might be. So, so setting some boundaries around what, what uh, is going to be measured and then taking all the data out of the, the learning experience, you know, making sure that that data is tracked and me uh, measured, uh, and then insights gained by, by reading the, the data, building algorithms to, to see whether or not the target has, has been met.